The first product on our list is Emacs Tiny Hawk 2. Offering impressive durability for just a couple of hundred dollars, the Emacs Tiny Hawk 2 is a great choice for learning on. It can transmit video at 25, 100, and 200 milliwatts and it allows for software and telemetry updates using the popular Project Mockingbird suite. The price is around $175, check out the product link in the YouTube. There are 34 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.2 stars, a customer said. Preface, first FPV drone, but I've flown a few of the cheap $20 Walmart micro quads before. Here's my thoughts after about a month of ownership and probably used 40 plus packs inside and outdoors. First I'll get the bad stuff out of the way, durability, Tiny Hawk 2, I've crashed a bunch, but it still works. Two of the LED strips have broken and are missing. One of the antennas has broken, limiting the range, but I can still fly up to 100 or so unobstructed feet away. Lost one of the hex screws that secures the camera, but it came with a... Another happy customer said. The only reason I gave this 4 stars instead of 5 is that I believed it would be a beginner's kit, since I'm a beginner. I've flown a few easy quads in the past and started getting used to them and the way they flew. I thought I was ready for FPV, but I was dead wrong. First of all, line of sight is so much different than FPV. It is so hard to understand where you are at in the goggles, I think it's an FPV problem that I just haven't figured out yet, not the drone manufacturer's fault. The second product is Aeris X Speed V2. In addition to aerodynamic body panels and a carbon fiber frame, the Aeris X Speed V2 comes with all the electronic components needed to get off the ground. It's a suitable choice for those wishing to upgrade from inexpensive toys to models worthy of competition. The price approximately $309. There are 20 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 3.3 stars, a customer said. I had an issue with the first one sent to me. I requested a replacement and it was filled right away and my new drone is amazing. It is, by far, my favorite and I own many drones. Do note it does not come with a charger. I recommend ordering a charger, additional batteries and propellers when you order this. It is so much fun, you will not want to put it down after the first battery goes dead. I will say, the only downside is there is quite a learning curve, for me anyway, with what type of charger to. The next product is. Blade Scimitar 110. A variable power range of 25 to 150 milliwatts lets you use the Blade Scimitar 110 to compete with other pilots while minimizing radio interference, and an injection molded plastic body helps protect its sensitive electronic components. This product is available on Amazon for $107. There are 8 reviews which average rating is 4.2 stars for this product, a customer said. I've heard a lot of people say bad things about Blade, Horizon stuff, but I got this and I had never flown Acro or FPV other than a tiny whoop with my phone and this thing took some bad crashes and even when the antenna came off no damage to the transmitter and I'm already flying Acro line of sight and FPV and can do a split S and such. I mean I got a lot to learn but this was easy to set up Wo beta flight and it's tough enough for beginners and I see that it will also. The next product is. Swagtron Swag Drone. A fast and capable choice for racing, the Swagtron Swag Drone offers a low latency receiver with a range of 500 meters in addition to a high definition night vision camera for delivering first person views of the action in bright or low light. The price approximately $439. There are 9 reviews which average rating is 3.3 stars for this product, a customer said. Love it! 
The next one is Hubsan H122D Storm. Multiple pre-programmed telemetry profiles let you switch the Hubsan H122D Storm to expert mode once you've developed your skills enough. It's surprisingly affordable for a kit that comes with everything needed, including a remote and headset. This product is available on Amazon for $119, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 65 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 3.8 stars, a customer said. This seems like a great little starter kit. Most professional reviews state it can't compete as a racing drone. That's okay for me, as I was looking for something cheap, and more manual control. I've already got a hover, fly on its own, DJI style camera drone. This one is a first step towards something fast, zippy, FPV. It's pretty stable, has an impressive camera, and so far seems durable. I really like the fact the display has an internal battery. It also supports the basic channels and I've used with my other drones. Plus the flexibility of mounting. Another happy customer said, I've been flying RC planes and helicopters for years and finally decided to try drones out. I read a few reviews and this one seemed like the cheapest and easiest way to try it out and see if I wanted to get into it more. Needless to say I have parts on the way to build a bigger one. I absolutely couldn't be happier with this little drone. It's a blast to fly, and be careful inside, dot it's a lot faster than I thought it would be. I only fly it outside now. But it has survived a few pretty brutal. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out. Oh! <laughs>